Evening, everybody. It's six minutes after six on Wednesday afternoon, 31st, last day of the month of August. This is your closing comment. It is video number 1432. Okay, so we started off today with uh, the ADP numbers. Um, it was actually kind of a weak day across the board, but um, at the open, we were a little bit higher. Um, for the By the end of the day, though, we had given up the gains. We were down 280 in the NYSE, down 6.68%, and advanced declines were 2.2 uh, to 1 to the downside. NASDAQ fared a little better, down only 66.93, or a half a percent, and advanced declines there were 3 to 2 to the downside. Volume was a little bit heavier at 4.8 billion. Yesterday was 4.5. Uh, but this week it's been building a little because on Monday and Tuesday we were 4.1 and 4.2, so a little bit higher. Um, S&P was down $31 or three quarters of a percent. Uh, the Russell was only down $11 and change. And the Dow Jones Transports, again, the biggest loser, down $145.19 or 1.04%. Uh, the VIX, though, was also down. And this is getting to be a little on the strange side where we have these really meaningless moves. Um, in the VIX, where the market has been surprisingly strong or surprisingly weak. Chart on the screen is the oil. It was one of the areas that was weak again. This is the weekly chart, and I put it up here because I wanted you to see that this is the same area where we broke to the upside, where we've come back. We have yet to make a new low. If we did, I'd have to, you know, turn my head the other way and just say, you know, we're in a bear market again. We did have the blow off high. We did have a lower high. Now we have a slightly lower group of lows, but they still haven't broken anywhere near where the upside breakout was here at 86 that took us to 130 in basically five weeks. So I'm not terribly concerned there. Okay. Um, news around NVIDIA. Um, a filing for two days after they reported their earnings, further lowering guidance. The stock had closed 151, down 373. Um, remember, this was a $346 stock not very long ago. So it closed at 151 and then traded on this news, which came after the close, down to 143. 143.10 is the last, down 9.62 or 6.2%. Okta also reported, you know, okay numbers, uh, but the guidance is weak and the revenues are weak. Stock closed 80.80, down 10.60 or 11.6%. And then another recent deal, C3AI, symbol AI. This is a stock that was 183 and it closed at 18 down 41 cents and lowered guidance so the stock had already been decreased from 180 to 18 so 90 percent down and then it traded down to 1480 and closed or last is 1517 down 324 or 17 percent um also MSTR. I've talked about this before. I have always thought that it was going to blow up. And being as litigious as we are, I expected the company to be inundated with lawsuits. This is the software company whose uh, CEO not only put a lot of the corporate assets in Bitcoin, which for a while worked really well, but he also borrowed money to put into Bitcoin. Well, today the Attorney General for the District of Columbia is suing both he and the company for tax evasion, um, claiming that he was, uh, he, he uh, filed as being domiciled in a low tax state, that being Florida, when in effect, when in fact he was in Washington, D.C.
So um, that one is currently trading 231 down, uh, 23156 down 867. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, the high on the stock was 1315. So there's going to be a problem. And because uh, the attorney general in D.C. says that uh, the company was complicit in this, they're suing the company for fraud, too. So the shareholders better line up fast. Okay, two new issues today. I have to laugh. Two new issues today. Uh, One is a Maryland pharmaceutical company that treats uh, cancer and has some breakthrough therapies for pancreatic, uh, brain tumors, and sarcoma. Uh, They, the name of that one is um, Shuttle Pharmaceuticals, symbol S-H-P-H. They did 1.2 million shares of the company's stock at eight and an eighth. For those of you who are totally digital, that's 8.125. The low for the day, I believe, was $13. The high for the day was $84.70. And the last is $48.55. That's up $40.42 for a gain of 500%. The other one is a little bit different. Um, it's a Chinese company, a Chinese logistics company, which, you know, this is the reason I don't trade China, because you just never know what you're getting. They did 5 million shares at $5 a share. This one also traded down on the low uh, at $12.95. The high on the day, however, was 1,147 spot 77. The last on it is 510, up 502 and a half for a return of 6,000. 700%. So, you know, they're good when they work, but a lot of them just don't work. You know, you remember the coffee house that went out of business after defrauding everybody on the face of the earth? Luckin. In any event, uh, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Tomorrow is Thursday, so Thursday is claims day. So we'll see that. And there are some other... um, pre-open earnings. Uh, I believe Signet reports tomorrow also before the open. So I'll be back in the morning. Have a good evening.